Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris Godber from GQ37, and it's been a while since I did a video. Last year, in fact, and uh, that was the suede dash recovering video uh, showing you what I did for my cracked dash. And a lot has changed since then. Not so much with me uh, and my car. I really haven't done much with the car. Uh, one little thing, and I'll show you that at the end of this video, but the world has changed uh, since then. How are you guys all doing in isolation and quarantine? You know, I mean, uh, a, year, uh, you know, a few months ago when I did uh, my last video, we weren't all wearing masks and going into the banks and gas stations, and it was normal. That's weird. <laughs> but uh, as you're in quarantine, maybe you're looking at doing some things to your car. Maybe you're uh, new to the G37 platform and you just want to get your feet wet with a few uh, easy, cheap mods, uh, and this video is for you if so. Or maybe you've had the car for a while and uh, just looking at seeing what other people are doing uh, that doesn't cost a lot. Uh, maybe you're not working a lot during this time and you just want to do a little something, but nothing that breaks the bank. Or maybe that stimulus check hit you and you're wanting to do all these mods. But either way, this is just my list of my top 10 favorite cheap mods. What I mean by that and, and, and what I'm defining as cheap is a hundred dollars or less. So, you know, obviously these aren't going to be performance mods. These are more cosmetic things, just a lot of interior things that, uh, you know, just spice it up a little bit, make it look a little bit better. And uh, these are some things that I've done to the car over the years uh, when I was just wanting to do a little something, uh, again, without breaking the bank, because this channel is all about uh, doing things on a budget, but doing them well. Uh, things that are, are nice, that are cheap in price, but not necessarily in quality, and uh, just something to, to make you enjoy your car a little bit more. So here we go. Starting with the cheapest thing here uh, is going to be my Plasti Dip Emblems. Now this is really easy. A lot of people do it. It's about $9.99 for a can, so you're looking at about $10. And I did a video on this a while back when I installed my carbon fiber spoiler. The spoiler was more than $100, but the Plasti Dip was not. And I showed how I did that. It's pretty simple. Um, it just takes a lot of coats, you know, um, you know, like eight to 10 coats is a good uh, starting point there. That way you've got enough uh, of the uh, exterior of the area to peel away um, the excess and uh, and do it cleanly. All right, so that's just an easy mod. You can black out uh, your emblems. Um, eventually, I may take off the uh, infinity writing off of my bumper maybe this summer, or the back hatch, rather, um, and just leave the logo. But uh, that's just another easy thing. Blacking them out seems to make it uh, look a little, little more stylish, and that doesn't cost hardly anything. Just your time. And we all have more of that now, don't we? So uh, next on the list was my carbon fiber key fob. Uh, now I love this thing. I got it on Amazon. They're between 16 and 20 bucks, depending on who you buy it from. It just covers your uh, your OEM key fob. It's really for Nissan, but you can still see the Infinity logo through there. They come in different color combinations. It's not actual carbon fiber. It's a print, but it still looks pretty good and uh, gives your key a little bit more updated wow factor than the kind of the boring uh, fob that every Nissan owner has. So uh, next would be my shift boot. Now I got this off of Amazon. There's a lot of different ones. I wanted a suede one. It came with white stitching, but I knew I was doing the red interior. So I stained that. Um, uh, you can use a red Sharpie uh, or some fabric paint, which works a lot better. Um, the Sharpie will work in that instance since it's not in the sun, but if it's something that's going to be in the sun, uh, the red fabric paint would work a lot better or whatever color you want to use. But, uh, that they're about uh, 30 to 40 dollars. Uh, I think it was about 25 the one that I got, but it looks like now they're about 30 to 40 dollars for the shift boots. I did a video on the install with that. Uh, I had to customize mine a little bit to make it fit, but I'll put a link right here. Uh, you can click there to get to that video and, and how I did that if you're interested in that. It's a fun project. Again, we've got some time while we're here in quarantine, so these are some things that, uh, that you can do and check these out. Uh, next on the list is the, the diode electric turn signal uh, that changes your little blinky uh, <laughs> blinker that's in the middle of your tail light and makes it uh, the whole tail light. Uh, blinks and this is a very popular mod. I did this with my G35 as well and it's one that one of the first things I did when I got my G37 a couple years ago uh, so much so that I forgot that I had done it but I, I'm just so used to it. It was it's such a simple mod. This is me installing it right now. Uh, 
literally it's plug and play the harness. I mean, less than five minutes, you pull this panel up uh, for your trunk and plug them in and tuck them away and you're done. It is that easy. Uh, so those are about 35 to 45 uh, dollars depending on where you get it. Uh, Amazon is where I got mine. And I'm going to put links uh, to all these things that are available uh, in the um, description below the video. So so that is one, you know, average about $42, but maybe a little less, give or take, depending on uh, fluctuating prices and where you get it. Uh, next would be the metal or aluminum AC uh, Havoc control, you know, for your air conditioner and your volume knobs on the dash. Uh, there's a few different sources that sell these as well. There was one website that exclusively sold them, but they seem to always be out. Uh, they're about $35 to $45, again, depending on the seller. You know, they look pretty cool at night with the uh, blue white lights, you know, coming through at nighttime reflecting off of that. But it just has a little touch of luxury for not a lot of money. So, And they literally pull, you know, the old ones pull off and the new ones push on. Next, a shift knob. A shift knob can go a long way in, uh, you know, helping your, just, it looks better, feels better. The stock knob in the G37 is actually pretty good. I like it better than the 370Z and worlds better than the 350Z G35 six-speed shift knob. Um, the, just the manual transmission in the G37 and 370Z alone feels a lot better, um, at least better than the early model 350Zs and uh, G35s. So uh, um, that feels a lot better. It's weighted. Um, I got a weighted, it's a Razo weighted shift knob, uh, 200 grams. So you want a weighted one if you're going to get a shift knob. Um, the reason for that is it will make your throws a lot smoother. The stock one is weighted, so you definitely want to keep that feel. The stock one has a good feel, um, but maybe you want one something skinnier, maybe you want the ball, whatever you want, um, but you want to go with a weighted one so you still keep that feel. If you go with a lighter one, your shifts are actually going to be heavier and not as smooth and maybe slower because you don't have that counterweight helping you. So I know weight reduction is a thing in the, the race car world, but with a shift knob, you don't. You want to you wanna have that weight. And 200 grams is nothing, but it goes a long way in, uh, in the feel of a shift knob. So I'll put a link to the one I got. It's a Raza weighted shift knob with the carbon fiber look trim. Um, it is $70, but um, you can find some other ones that may be a little bit less than that on eBay. Uh, with a different look or whatever you want, but weighted shift knob's the way to go. All right, Megan Strut Tower Brace. About 75 bucks uh, trending on eBay right now. The most I've seen them is are about 80. You can get more expensive ones. They all do the same thing. And uh, this one looks just fine too. But unless you're a car show, you know, uh, snob that really needs some really cool looking strut, strut bar, this one does the job. And it actually does feel really good. You know, um, uh, once I put it on, you know, my, my previous cars had them. I've had Miatas and Zs. And then, of course, this one didn't come with one. So when I put it on there, I immediately noticed that uh, it, it just felt more focused uh, in the turns. I don't track my car, I'm not racing it, but just around the street, uh, cornering, it just felt a little bit more focused, a little bit more tight, a little more confident. Uh, so uh, it was well worth it to me, uh, the, the feeling of it. And it's an easy, easy install. It uh, should be. Mine, um, the factory got the brackets uh, mixed up, so it didn't fit at first, but once I realized they had them mislabeled um, right and left, was not correct, so I switched them and then it was a piece of cake. That's another five minute install for you. Um, again, about 76 bucks on eBay. Um, next is my floor mats. I get the most compliments on the floor mats. I mean, people see the seats, it's cool, the red interior, but the black and the red, the black floor mats with the red stitching, for whatever reason, gets people really excited, and that was a cheap mod. You see them advertised all the time on social media, Facebook and Instagram, like $150, leather floor mats custom. First of all, they're not leather. None of them are. They're vinyl, and they're all coming from China. So you might as well just get it straight from the source, like a wholesale pricing. Um, I get it on eBay. You can probably get it on AliExpress too, but I bought mine on eBay for 80 bucks. That includes the front and the rears, and it goes over that little middle hump in the back as well. And they are custom fitted for the G37. They look great. They even have the little plastic uh, guard for your foot, for the driver's uh, side, so it doesn't wear out so quick. Um, I've had mine for over a year and a half, and they look great. They, um, they've, they've been holding up, so 80 bucks on eBay. Get them from China, maybe not right now. Wait till this Corona stuff's over. But uh, anyway, that's, that's where I got them from, and uh, check those out. Uh, 
carbon fiber mirror caps. I've had these on for about two years um, and they're the genuine dry carbon fiber. Also came from China, I uh, got them on eBay. Uh, and these range in price depending on the seller and they all use the same photo. So you just kind of want to look at the reviews, make sure uh, you're getting the real deal. Um, but on average, you're looking at about $70, $80. I've seen them go up as much as 100 and as little as like 60 but somewhere in there. And uh, they have 3M tape on the back, um, and uh, you can put a little bit more to make it secure, and uh, they just stick right on, all right? Um, so those are pretty cool. They've held up really good, and I just I like the way they look on the car. Now is vinyl vinyl wrap can go a long way and i put this at between a 60 and 100 dollars because i've gone to my vinyl guy several different times for different things the most expensive part i got was blacking out my roof which i think looks really good on a um on a white car uh or some of the brighter you know like a, you got a red one or you know, depending on what color your car is i think a black roof looks really good and uh, can go a long way in just bringing out those body lines from, you know, if you've got tinted windows, the, the, the back windshield just runs right into it and it hides the sunroof and all those things. It looks really good. Um, he only charged me $100 for that. Your prices will vary, um, but that's what my guy locally charges. There was another guy in town that quoted me $500, so that's a huge discrepancy. Um, I thought $500 was ridiculous because a body shop only quoted me $200 to paint it. Um, but uh, my guy said, no, $100, I'll, uh, I'll wrap it. And I've gone to him with my G35, he charged me $100. With the G37, he's charging me 100. And very, uh, uh, very happy with the quality I got from Epic Wraps, Panama City, uh, for vinyl wrap. So $100 for my roof. Uh, he also did um, the carbon fiber trim around my exhaust. Um, instead of getting a carbon diffuser, I decided to go that route. He only charged me $60 to do that. It doesn't look as good as a carbon fiber diffuser. No, but it's also not three or four hundred dollars um, and I had it done within an hour <laughs> so I'm very happy with the way it looks it looks good enough for me I'm happy with it I get compliments on it and uh, from you know a couple car lengths away in traffic nobody else knows the difference um, so 60 bucks I don't know what your people will charge but it's probably less than a hundred for that little piece um, I also did the red uh, you know the Nismo inspired uh, dragon red uh, forget what the color code is. It's like inferno red or something another dragon. It's a metallic red But I did that in the front uh, and then little stripes on my mirror caps to give it that Nismo look uh, He did that as well um, That was uh, less than a hundred dollars as well between those so I've had a lot of work done uh, with him So between 60 and a hundred dollars is what I was charged for the work that I've done I've got it done at separate different times um, but anyway, vinyl work can go a long way. I even did a little bit of vinyl on my uh, interior door poles in my car, um, and you can do that yourself. It's not very hard if you want to experiment with it. Um, anyway, so those are my top 10, I would say, favorite cheap mods. But wait, there's more. I've got one that didn't, you know, I actually did more than 10. The most recent thing I've done in my car is uh, a Alcantara suede steering wheel cover. Now. I had a leather steering wheel cover I put on uh, when I got the car, and these are the kinds that you sew on. They're about 30 bucks on Amazon or eBay, and uh, they're the ones that come with the needle and the thread and you sew them on. Um, I'd never done that before. It's a pain. I'll go ahead and warn you. It's a pain in the butt. Um, very time consuming. It probably took me three hours to do the first one because I didn't know what I was doing and uh, I did it wrong and had to redo it and learn how to tie it and all that. But um, when it was all done, it looked really good. And I had that on the car for about two years. Um, I forgot that I'd done it. it, it looked so good. But when the guy um, put my dash in or took my dash out and whatever, somehow he scraped it up on the back of it. You couldn't tell it looking at it, but when you drove the car, you could feel the scratches on the back side of the steering wheel. And of course that bothered me. So I ordered a new one, a black and red one to match my interior. Decided to go with Alcantara on the top and the uh, vinyl they call it leather, but it's vinyl, um, on the sides, the red, and uh, match that. Again, that was about, that was $40 uh, on, on eBay. Um, and that one, you do have to take your steering wheel off, though. The one I had before, you didn't. Um, it didn't tuck into the uh, control panel, but this one is to, to look OEM, you know. So you have to take your steering wheel off in order to take out the screws on the back to get that face plate off for your volume controls and all that stuff, cruise control on the steering wheel. So that one was a pain, but uh, in the end, 
it was worth it. And uh, if you're a DIY person and you've got the time to do it because you're in quarantine, you might as well do it. You know, you're at home. These are some very affordable mods uh, that you can do uh, at your house for the most part. Um, maybe not so much some of the vinyl wrap, but most of the stuff you can install at your house and just do it. Um, uh, so hopefully this helps you guys. Just some of the things I've done to my car that uh, have made it look the way it does and that I'm, I'm happy with. And just, um, you know, especially the interior stuff. That's where we spend our time driving. Obviously we want to do rims and spoilers and these things to the car so everybody else can enjoy the way it looks. But we spend the time in the cockpit. So these are some of the things that uh, are kind of enjoyable uh, to you as a driver. One more uh, honorable mention that did not make the list, and the reason why is because it hasn't really held up, um, so I can't fully recommend it, but you've probably seen them on social media, uh, is the dome lights with the uh, little infinity logo. Um, I got mine off Amazon. They're between $12 and $15, very affordable, um, but it was really cool when I first got it, but after about six months, it's uh, got this... Um, watery look. It looks like there's water in the lens, even though there's not. There's no moisture in it. It's just overexposed or blown or something. So it's a little distorted now. It doesn't quite look as cool. I may replace it eventually. Uh, again, those are like 12 to 15 bucks. Um, so you may have them. You may have seen other people that have them. So welcome to get them. Uh, it's just one of those things that like it hasn't really held up for me, but it still was cool at the time and I may get new ones. We'll see. But anyway, that is my list. It's really 12 items, not 10 but uh, hopefully something on there um, answered a question that you may have been thinking about or maybe inspired you to do something with your car, with your build. Um, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click subscribe for more videos and uh, check out some of my other videos from exhaust to uh, shift boot install and much, much more. So thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.